What's up, Baddy Army? Welcome to another segment of In the Kitchen with Baddy Twins. Oh my God, guys! Today we are going to be making. We're making Jamaican beef patties. Finally! Listen, this is one of the most requested stuff. Like every under every video, somebody asking, make Jamaican beef patty, make beef patty, make beef patty. Listen, and I was just waiting for the right time to make these patties because I wanted to be perfect. Like this would be my first time making beef patties, and I wanted to be perfect for y'all. And I'm so excited. And also with this Jamaican beef patty, we're going to be making papaya juice. Now this is our first time having papaya juice. Yes. So I'm excited. So. So hopefully them patty are coming better than taste with patty miller. Listen, the patty are better than better than golden cross. They are better than juicy beef patty. They are better than mother's patty. Yeah. So I want to taste it. Taste this patty to a juicy beef. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so without any further delay, guys, let's get into this grocery list. Yes. I'm hungry. Yeah. Okay, guys. So let's start off with the stuff that we're gonna need to make our beef patties. Okay, guys. So to make our crust, we're gonna need flour, of course. And you're not just gonna use any flour. You're gonna use all-purpose flour in our case we always use the unbleached kind you're also gonna need some cornstarch you're going to need some vegetable shortening you're gonna need some turmeric you're going to need some uh, ground beef of course some beef stew seasoning now for season wise you're gonna need some sweet peppers I'm gonna be using green and red sweet peppers just to give it that vibrant and festive look you're gonna need some onions scallion some garlic a black pepper and we're gonna need a little bit of ketchup okay guys so let's now move on to the stuff that we're gonna need for our papaya juice we're gonna need papaya of course it's beautiful lovely papaya we're gonna need evaporated milk eight soups of vanilla and of course we're gonna need some sugar okay so let's get right into preparing this meal cuz I'm excited and I'm ready for these beef patties wait wait who's head chef today um I'm head chef hello okay. I'm cooking the patties so okay. you're gonna have to like dice up all of these I think you should just throw all of these in the, in the food processor cuz I need it to be really small Mm -hmm. for my beef to go into my patty mm -hmm. so I need this to be really really small so the food processor is the way today so let's get into preparing this meal because Kira we are ready we we'll said we're ready for the patty yeah the patty are gonna come out the patty are gonna come out yeah with, even with no cocoa bread first things first we're gonna make our crust for our beef patty okay so we're gonna need three cups of flour mm -hmm. one two Three. Then we're gonna need half cup of vegetable shorting. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of turmeric. Now the turmeric is what is gonna give your crust, the crust of the patty, that yellow look, that rich yellow look. Golden look. Yes, that's the turmeric that does that. So now we're gonna mix up all our ingredients and we're gonna go in with our hands and we're just gonna mash it up like this. Now we have to screen, we all want to squinch it up like this. Squinch it up, squinch it up. Now the vegetable shortening is what's gonna give the flour the consistency that we need. We're going for like a play dough consistency. No, Kira, this really feel like play doh. I lie, me can't feel it. No, you can't feel Mwah it. Feel You're it. the cameraman. I want play doh too. No. Okay, guys, so now it's time to add some water. You're gonna add half cup of cold water. It has to be cold water. You want it to be ice cold because of the consistency of the flour that we need the dough. We have to use cold water. Then we're gonna mix that in. Look like yeah, fight the flour. No, sir. The consistency of the flour is very interesting. Like I never feel flour feel like this. I guess it's the vegetable shortening mixed with the turmeric. Gives it a different kind of consistency. I kind of like it. Very play doughy. Okay guys, so now that you have your play dough, you're gonna sit this in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. So in the meantime, between time, I'm gonna start cutting up the seasonings to prepare the ground beef. So I'm actually gonna put this in the food processor because I need to have them really small, but I have to cut them into sections first before I actually put them in there. Okay 
Okay guys, now it's time to chop our seasonings down to tiny, tiny pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my onions first. Show them all in there and I'm gonna pulse. So now that we've prepared all our seasonings, now we're gonna move on to making the ground beef for our beef patties. So we have our pot right here. We're gonna add some oil to that. Not too much, just a good little amount. The beef itself is oily. Now we're gonna just gotta add our seasonings to the pot. We're gonna allow this to cook for a little bit, guys, and then we're gonna come back to it and add our ground beef and our additional seasonings. Now it's time to add our ground beef to the mix. So we're just gonna open that up and just dump it in. And we're gonna stir that in with the seasoning. Then we're gonna add our beef seasoning, our beef stew seasoning. Then we're gonna add some black pepper. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of salt. We're gonna mix that in. Then we're gonna allow that to cook for 10 to 15 minutes on medium high. So in the meantime guys, we're gonna preheat our oven on 350. So we're gonna turn that on. Start. I'm gonna add a little ketchup to this, guys. Not too much, just a little bit. No salad means I look good. I don't beef I look good at Irie. Mmm, the stacky taste good, don't care. Mmm, -hmm. mm, the patty have a taste good. Mother's patty, oh, juicy beef patty, oh, tasty patty, oh. All right, now let's put it on the mint, please. And I mean, it looks like a taste good. I look when the crust down, nobody can talk to me. Okay, guys, so let's check on our beef. Ooh, this look juicy and nice. I still kind of want it to dry down a little bit more because I don't want my beef to be too... I want it to be juicy, but I don't want it to be too wet when it goes onto my um, flour to make my crust. So I'm going to let it dry down a little bit more. But in the meantime, I'm going to move on to making the crust for my Jamaican beef patty. Okay guys, so now it's time to do our juicing. So we have our big, nice papaya right here. Time to de-skin him and cut him up, and then we're gonna blend him up, okay? So let's get to it. No so the papaya pretty like a baby but um no sakiri the skin just smooth and come off so yeah mm -mm. it don't take no effort it just slippery like butter okay guys now it's time to blend up our papaya so I'm gonna put a reasonable amount into my blender container thingy. I'm gonna stop right there, then I'm gonna add one tin of my evaporated milk to that. And I'm gonna blend this up. I'm gonna pour this out into my jug that I have here. Mm. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my papayas. Use another tin of evaporated milk. That richness. Oh, that look thick and nice. That look goody. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some water into this. You know, this like tastes good. Any drink with milk for me tastes good. Any drink with milk, any kind of milk in it. Add some water to that. Mix that around. Then now it's time to sweeten, guys. So I'm gonna add right now one cup of sugar. How is the consistency, Kerry? It's thick? It's thick and nice. Ooh. Very thick and nice. It's kind of giving me carrot juice. Ooh. I wonder how it's gonna taste. I don't think I've ever tasted papaya. Okay, so like let's the see fruit. if this is sweet enough or if I need to add some more sugar. Mmm. Oh my god. That tastes good? Oh my god. Let me see, Kerry. Taste it, Craig. Oh my god. Imagine what this is gonna taste with some ice. 
Oh my god. Oh wow. Let me add um then I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla now. Go and top it off. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kerry, this is gonna be my new favorite drink. Oh my god, god. this tastes so good. Oh my god. Kerry, come on, taste it. Oh my god, this I give kinda I give carrot juice a run feet money. Wow. Imagine that with some um something there. Do we I even need to add any more sugar? No. Actually, if I had some nutmeg, it can't some of the, uh, could be the nutmeg in there. No, you're trying to turn this no. in, a, in, a, in a eggnog. In a carrot juice. No. This Ooh, tastes, that tastes perfect. Good. Oh my God. Imagine this when it's cold. Oh my God. Wow. I never know some papaya juice tastes good. Wow. Wow. Auntie Carol. Auntie Carol, you still love make papaya juice. Mm. Okay guys, so now we're gonna move on to making the crust for our beef patties. The things you're gonna need is a cutting board. If you don't have a cutting board, you can use your kitchen counter. Just clean it off. You're gonna need a rolling pin. You're gonna need some more flour and you're gonna need something with a round edge. Like you're gonna need like a, a small saucer or a, in my case, I'm using a bowl. You're gonna need the round edge to form out your beef patties. So here we have our dough. Actually, what we're first gonna do, we're gonna sprinkle a little of flour on our cutting board. Get it ready for the dough. I'm gonna actually split this into two for now. And you're gonna put that on your cutting board. And then we're gonna flatten this out. So guys, we're gonna roll this until it's very flat. Flat, flat, flat. Ooh, no summer tired. What if I roll in there, take a lot of energy. But guys, after you get it as flat as you can possible, now look, it doesn't have to be a perfect, um, like a, a circular shape, because we're actually gonna fold this up now. We're gonna fold this up like this, fold it. After we fold it, we're gonna flatten down that again. It took like a workout. Listen, make it a good upper body workout to you. And then we're gonna fold this again, fold it like so, and then we're gonna cut it. This represents how many patties you're gonna get, how many cross. So yeah, we have three there. Okay guys, so now that our um, ground beef is dried down, we're just gonna put some in a bowl to cool down before we actually put it in the patty. After they cool down, we can't put a hot. Cool it, cool it down. Also that beef has smell good. That beef has smell airy. Guys, always remember to add flour to your countertop or your cutting board so that when you're flattening your dough, it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick to the pin, it doesn't stick to the cutting board or the countertop. Okay, so time to make our first patty. Okay, so this is where you get something that's circular with a circular edge. Place it on your dough and then you're gonna cut around the edge. Now it's time to add our beef, guys. Now you don't wanna add too much beef. You wanna add enough, but you don't wanna add, like overdo it. So just enough to fill the patty. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other edge and we're gonna lift it and we're gonna bring it over, fold it over. You know like when you got your bed, you fold a blanket over, you have to cover yourself up? Yes, that's how you're gonna fold it over. Use your fingers to push down the edge a little bit so it stays. Now we're gonna grab a fork and we're gonna seal it. You just simply press down like this to seal it. All right guys, so now that we've sealed it, we're gonna kind of move around the beef a little bit, make sure it's everywhere in the patty. So you're gonna gently press down on it, just gently. So you're just moving the beef around so that every bite that you take of beef, you don't want this dry crust and no beef. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your fork and you're gonna poke some holes in there. Now these are like air pockets because you want it to breathe when it's in the oven. And then we're just gonna repeat the steps until all our beef patties are ready. Okay. 
Okay, so now it's time to finally pop it in the oven and we're gonna leave it for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. So let's pop them in the oven, guys. Ooh, it's hot, it feel like hell. And then when it's done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna, we're gonna just chow down and we're gonna eat half the wall of them. And we're gonna drink some papaya juice. You ready, Gary? Mm-hmm. All right. You hear that, guys? The oven is beeping, so that means our beef patty is ready. Yes, yes. Let's okay. go. I'm excited. That's steam! Ooh. Oh. Ooh. 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 They're moving. Ooh, they look crispy, girl. Ooh. Ooh. Listen, Carrie, we gotta allow these to cool down and then we're gonna chow down, okay? Yes. Cool down, then chow they down. Look crispy and nice. Ooh, Carrie. Ooh. Like, let's eat right now. Like, I'm ready to taste these. Okay, let's, let's say our grace first. God is good. God is great. Let us thank him for our food. Amen. Okay. Woo! Ready. So, let's get a bite. Guys, look at this Ooh, patty dough. Ooh, the banana. crisp. Look at this patty dough, guys. Ooh. Come on. Okay, let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. It's very crusty. Mm. 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 The beef is very nice and flavorful. Mm hmm. Mm. It's got like beef um, seasoning. Mm hmm. Also, this says good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Next, do your thing, Craig. It, 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 have, it actually has more seasoning than, than the regular party that we will buy. Yeah. It's more flavorful. Mmm. 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 And for those who, who like spice, you can always add spice to yours. We don't yeah. like spice, so. Mmm. We just add um, black pepper. Might need to do some cooking with Mmm. This tastes really good. This is really good for my first try. Mmm. Let me try the drinks. Mmm. 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 No, sir, mother's party. Mm mm. Mother's party, you're not going with nothing. Guys, mm -hmm. this drinks. This papaya drinks, bitch. Mm mm. -hmm. So good. Mm. Oh my God. So good. I don't even want to finish it one time. Mm. Mm. I don't know why it gives me a little vibe that like I have a little alcohol in it, but it don't have any alcohol. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. The drop can see. It's so crispy, the flex of my drop. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 -mm. You know what? Some kind of patty so nice. Mmm. -mm. This is good. It's just so much more flavor. There's so much more flavor than your regular, like a golden crust. Mm -hmm. oh. This is good. So you guys finally get a pasta recipe. You guys have been asking, asking, asking. Mm -hmm. So you finally get one. I know, I mean, I'm going buy pasta at the store because I'm going to myself. Simple and easy. Ooh, that one here looks extra crispy. No, it's not a papaya juice, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. No, it's some more, some more. Mmm. Some more, some more ice, though. No, it's not a fuck for some more ice for the more that juice, yeah. No, it's not a juice, yeah, bud. Here, they want some more. Mmm. -hmm. No, sir. Oh, yeah, no, no, sir, I'm gonna reach my second party yet. No, sir, carry it. We need this cocoa. Put some mm. cocoa bread though. Mm. 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 We have to have cocoa bread next time. Mm. 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 Next time I make this, it's gonna be more even perfect. Because I tried my first time. Mm. Mm. 
Bah, ça, ça y est. Ça, c'est lui, les gars. C'est Pas de gabar. I'm actually really easy to make. Mm-hmm. Let me tell the people, I have the things easy to make. We're just too lazy. We don't want to make nothing when we're ready to buy it. Mm-mm. That's what you want. Mm-mm. Fuck you, I'm just going. Nah, my party almost done. Mm-mm. You said what party? I mean, I'm not sure. You're not sure your party? No, for what? Get your own. I never see one potty for two person. I love the color of this too. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's so many little juice. My belly kinda of full. The juice are run down. Can't make it waste. Thank you. <laughs> Can't make the juice waste. Oh yeah, here boy. The juice that tastes too nice. Guys, have you never had papaya juice? Listen, use our recipe. Mmm, so good. Oh, papaya juice, man. You know, little party. You tell me to make my party now. So, you're lucky. I eat the whole of my party for you, man. No, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Yes. So guys, make sure say if we don't make the party, yeah? make sure you send with the video and the picture so we can see on the door. Instagram us, you can um leave a comment under here saying okay with a, with a link to your video of you remaking this Jamaican beef party. Beefy, juicy, crispy, crusty party. Mm. Yeah, the party had to come out. Nah. What, I mean, like when I say crusty, if I say flaky. Crust, the crust is crusty. The crust is sound like somebody crusty food. Like, like somebody with a lotion, lotion them need. Oh. Yeah, it's a flaky, it's flaky. But it's crusty, it was very crusty and it's very flaky. nice. I like when the flaky sounds better. Oh, I'm right. talking about food, yes. And the, the, the beef was well seasoned. Mm -hmm. And there was a crisp. Our oh, patty definitely had more flavor than than patties that we bought. Mm -hmm. It has like it has a homemade taste. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. So you guys should definitely try this recipe. And yeah, that was really good. I'm full. I'm full. Too. I think it's a two glass of papaya juice. And guys, we should say you try the papaya juice. The papaya juice recipe, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> it wicked carry. You don't want some more? My belly full. Oh, uh, surprise. No, no, your belly could have full. Anyways. Yeah, that like me say. That me say. Anyways, guys, make sure you don't comment down below and make sure you know what else you know what we cook. Translation, make sure you comment down below and let us know what you would like us to cook. And we definitely will. And you don't know, so we're going to have the things them after the video. Just for uno. Translation, you know we're going to eat the rest of the food of video. Just, oh, what did you say just now? That's not what I actually <laughs> was saying. I was saying, you guys know that we're going to eat the food after we prepare it for you guys. Because we know you oh, love it. you never that talk plain. That's what I, what I was saying. You never that talk plain. You wasn't understanding. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget that every day is another chance to slay. To slay, bitch. So slay, especially when you're in the kitchen. Slay with a party. Slay, slay with a party cross. And a coca bread. Okay? Slay with some papaya, papaya juice. juice. Yes. Slay. And we'll see you guys in the next video. We love, we love you guys. You guys. Wait, 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 wait. I know you wasn't about to leave without subscribing. And while you're at it, click the bell right beside it so you can know every time we upload a video. And girl, make sure you like this video, girl. And leave a comment down below, girl. Okay, girl? Okay. Right now. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins.